U.S. Department of Defense announced on November 14, 2024, that Lockheed Martin has begun constructing the first C-130J-30 Super Hercules aircraft for the U.S. Navy's E-130J program. This marks a significant milestone in the modernization of the Navy's airborne strategic communication capabilities, with the E-130J set to replace the aging E-6B Mercury fleet. The E-6B Mercury, based on the Boeing 707 airframe, has served the Navy's take-charge-and-move-out Takamo mission since the 1980s. This mission provides secure and resilient communication between national command authorities and strategic ballistic missile submarines, a cornerstone of the U.S. nuclear deterrent strategy. However, with the Boeing 707 production line closed and the E-6B fleet becoming increasingly costly to maintain, the Navy has prioritized the E-130J program as the solution to these challenges. Built on the modern Lockheed Martin C-130J-30 Super Hercules airframe, the E-130J program offers advanced capabilities tailored to the demanding requirements of the Takamo mission. The C-130J platform was chosen after extensive evaluations under the Navy's EXX program, with its selection driven by its operational reliability, sustainability, and ability to meet mission-critical needs. Key features of the C-130J-30 include enhanced payload capacity, extended range, and state-of-the-art avionics. These characteristics make it ideal for long-duration missions, where maintaining communication with strategic assets is paramount. The program envisions the delivery of the first E-130J aircraft in 2026, with 8 to 12 units planned to fully replace the E-6B fleet in the coming years. The U.S. Navy's E-130J program aligns with a broader global shift toward modernizing airborne command and control platforms. Nations worldwide are investing in similar systems to strengthen national defense and ensure continuity of government operations during crises. Russia employs the Ilyushin IL-80 and IL-82 aircraft, known as doomsday planes, for strategic command and control. Based on the IL-86 airliner, these aircraft are heavily fortified with nuclear blast-resistant shielding and advanced communication systems. While their size offers greater onboard capabilities, it limits operational versatility compared to the E-130J, which can operate from shorter, less developed airstrips. China has repurposed its domestically produced wide 20 Kuomintang strategic transport aircraft for airborne command and control roles. These modified Y-20s integrate advanced communication systems to enhance coordination across the People's Liberation Army. The Y-20's larger payload and range enable extensive command setups, but its deployment flexibility is constrained in contested regions with limited runway infrastructure. India has adopted a different approach with its Airborne Early Warning and Control System, AWNCS, primarily based on the Embraer ERJ-145 platform. These aircraft are cost-effective and dual-purpose, serving both reconnaissance and command roles. However, their smaller size and limited range make them less suitable for long-duration strategic missions like Takamo. The E-130J program represents a transformative step for the U.S. Navy, ensuring that the Takamo mission evolves to meet the challenges of the 21st century. With its cutting-edge capabilities and operational flexibility, the E-130J will play a critical role in maintaining the U.S.'s strategic deterrence and global military readiness. As Lockheed Martin progresses toward delivering the first units, the Navy is set to enter a new era of airborne strategic communications, reinforcing its position as a leader in defense innovation. Thank you.